so the next speaker will be uh, Yahya um, Tayadati. Uh, he's, uh, he's from Morocco um, um, in Rabat University and uh, also based at CERN currently. So uh, it'll be more of an experimental talk as you can see on your slides. And so please uh, start, Yahya. Hello, do you hear me? Uh, yes, we hear you. Excellent. So good afternoon, uh, everybody. Uh, I'm Yahya Tayalati from University Muhammad V in Rabat. Uh, uh, please allow me to thank first the organizer and Professor Ali Hassan Ali, who gives me this opportunity to present uh, some of our activity in this African Physics Society meeting. So this is this is the outline of my of my talk. I will first. Uh, present one of our recent activity with the Atlas uh, collaboration, which concern the uh, search of uh, light by light scattering. After that, I will move to the our, some of our recent activity on astroparticle side with Antares collaborations and the search for exotic physics, exotic particles uh, with neutrino telescope. And before to conclude, I will also uh, discuss some of the hardware projects we initiated recently in Morocco for both high energy physics and astroparticles. So this is our group. Uh, I'm talking on behalf of these people. I'm supervising uh, five PhD students, Hasna Al-Jirari, uh, who is uh, she is based at CERN in Geneva, leading the activity of search of dark matter in the Higgs ZDK. Hassan Hamdawi uh, almost done with his PhD and uh, he was involved on heavy ion physics. On the bottom, we have Jihad on astroparticle side. He is working on monopoles with Antares telescope and leading the hardware activity in Rapat. Uh, about a year ago, we have been joined by, by Miriam and Ahmed uh, uh, working for Kaim Trinet uh, Telescope. Uh, Miriam is uh, studying the efficiency of detection of supernova. And the, the Maui will continue with the search of mining in the monopole on the Kaim Trinet Telescope. So, as you can see, we are trying to, I uh, try to do our best in order to uh, respect the balance gender. So let's start now with the HEP activities. As you know, the uh, light by light uh, scattering is process which is uh, completely forbidden in classical electrodynamics, but it appears in uh, quantum electrodynamics in this diagram with loops with a contribution from quark and, uh, uh, and lepton at low energy while uh, we have uh, W boson would dominate the contribution at high, uh, at high energy. But this process is extremely uh, rare. You can see the cross section is proportional to uh, alpha fourth. Alpha is the uh, fine constant structure, which, which make it extremely difficult to de detect. There were many devices uh, proposed to, to probe this uh, process, but without success. But when Colliding when considering ultra peripheral collision of heavy ions, the cross section get in hand since the electromagnetic, uh, since the, uh, the due to the dependency of the electromagnetic field on the uh, charge of collided ions. So, which give an opportunity to, uh, to observe this, for example, at the LHC. So uh, a very simple topology of the signal. You have two scattered photons and the final state. The, uh, the heavy ions escape the collision with possibility of excitation in the final state. At the detector level, we will have only uh, the activity of the pho of photons at the level of the calorimeter, while the rest of the detector will, uh, will behave uh, silent with no activity. What's, what's make this, uh, since 
um, uh, Professor uh, Khalil Shaban has discussed dark matter and so on. What makes this process interesting is not only to probe for a process which is predicted by Stonder model, but these photons could couple to any new particle and we, we have here a clean way to probe uh, new physics beyond the standard model. Okay, in fact, uh, ATLAS has already presented uh, using data from uh, 2015, uh, ultra-peripheral collision of lead lead at five, uh, 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 at five TeV. Uh, the equivalent of luminosity of 0.48 nanobar inverse. They have already provided the first evidence for, uh, for the light by light scattering. You can see here the basic selections and they, they have observed 13 events uh, when uh, we were expecting an event. Being interpreted at that time as the first evidence 4.4 sigma for this uh, for this uh, uh, challenging process. We our group in Rabat has participated to the new analysis which concern the the data from uh, round two. <coughs> Sorry, data of 2018. We have uh, three more uh, ultra peripheral collision data from lead lead collision at five dev with major improvement, as you can see here, in terms of the uh, trigger efficiency uh, and the identification of photon, which is now based on neural network technique and with better rejection of the background. On the top, uh, uh, you have the trigger efficiency for the old analysis compared to the new one in the bottom. One can see that uh, we have a major improvement here, especially at, uh, at low energy. You can see that uh, we, we reach already 60% of efficiency at about uh, 5 GV. Yeah. Okay, uh, this is the sample. Uh, we use super in order to simulate the signal. We have two major background. The one, the, uh, the first one is the exclusive dielectron production gamma gamma to a pair of electrons. They were simulated with starlight and we have uh, simulated the contribution and the central explosive production photon from gluon with super chic. All the other uh, background coming from electronic noise and uh, from cosmic and so on are uh, negligible and were not considered in, in, in this uh, analysis. So here are some performances plus on the left, you can see the photon reconstruction efficiency, which has been derived from gamma gamma to uh, electron positron, which is a background for this study, but is also used to, uh, to calibrate uh, for calibration and so on. Uh, photons uh, here comes from Bremsstrahlung. We consider event gamma gamma to EE when one electron emit hard Bremsstrahlung uh, radiation due to the interaction with the matter. On the right side, you can see uh, the, the performance in terms of the identification of photons, which is uh, early based on shower shape variable and neural network technique. We are using here photon background photons derived from data and also we compute, uh, we train the, uh, the, we train the soft on the uh, Monte Carlo uh, samples. So here uh, I present the cut flow. Uh, basically we require two photon, each one with uh, at least three GV. This cut is in order to separate prompt photon from fake photon from cosmic uh, uh, and, uh, and so on and from the electronic noise also, which, uh, uh, which uh, have uh, uh, low energy. We are excluded, uh, the uh, transition zone of the calorimeter is also excluded for that reason. And uh, uh, on the bottom, you can see uh, we require no activity, um, uh, especially uh, no reconstructor of any charged particle. And we have one, of, uh, one efficient uh, cut on the echoplanarity, which reduced the central exclusive 
production and the contribution uh, which come from gluon. Okay, so he, here the new results uh, using data from 2018, as you can see, uh, represented here in terms of the acoplanarity on the left, and in uh, as uh, in interpreted also in, in mass invariant mass of the two photons, represented here for the uh, the background uh, and uh, from gamma gamma in uh, to pair of electrons in blue, uh, and for the central exclusive uh, production of photons from gluon, and the expected signal in red and the data with the black dots. Uh, Atlas reported 59 event this time, where we were expecting uh, only 12 events from the background. This has been interpreted as an observation at eight sigma of the light by light scattering. Similar result has been also uh, presented by, uh, by CMS. We have also measured the cross section of this process and you can see the value uh, observed are close to uh, witnessing, of course, uh, the error are close to what is expected in theories. Okay, so let's move now to, uh, before to move to astroparticle physics, uh, let me show you one of the event. This is the most energetic event we have, uh, Atlas has registered. As you can see, uh, we have uh, just back-to-back -back, uh, scattered photon and no activity in the rest of the, of the detection. Uh, I will skip this, but uh, the data from 2015 uh, and uh, 2018 has been combined in order to prop uh, for new physics. Here we considering the possible coupling of the two photon to axion like particle, which are good candidates for dark matter. We have computed, the Atlas has computed the limit, upper limit on the cross section and the coupling. And you can see on the right uh, with this, with data, with the combined data from 2015 and 2018, similar analysis uh, compared to uh, the light by light scattering. We are pushed here on bottom in blue, Atlas has pushed the exclusion uh, to a new, be a new best limit. Uh, so this is important as Khalil mentioned when we are searching for new physics beyond the standard model. Okay, uh, uh, let's start with some recent activity on astroparticles. As you probably know, Morocco has joined the Antares collaboration since 2011, when uh, first with the University Mohammed uh, one in Wujda, where I got my first position at that time. And later on by uh, uh, also the, my actual university, University Mohammed Five Rabat, Rabat has, uh, has, has joined and we managed to transform Morocco in cluster, which include also our National Center of Nuclear uh, Technique, Nester in Rabat, and uh, also the University of, uh, of Marrakech. Uh, this, this is a schematic view of the uh, Antarctic Telescope. So the collaboration managed to uh, deploy successfully uh, and since 2008, uh, 12 lines, each one about 400 meter, uh, containing 25 floor, and each floor contain three optical module, which will detect uh, the sharing of light uh, emitted by millions from uh, induced by uh, by neutrinos. Uh, in Rabat, uh, we took the uh, all the responsibility concerned the search of exotic particles. Uh, the first analysis I will present here concerns the search of magnetic monopoles. So this analysis relies on two parameters. Huh? The, on the right, we have the brightness of the, uh, of the event. In green, you can see that monopole emit more light uh, compared to uh, what we get uh, from muons represented here in red or what we get from the, from neutrino in blue. Here also, 
comparison to data represented with the black dots. The second, you can look at the uh, hit here as the number of fired, uh, fired optical modules. On the left, we have a second important variable, which is just uh, the reconstructed quality uh, weighted with the uh, brightness of the event. And we have here the number of parameter fitted in order to uh, to find the track of uh, of the monopole. So represented, of course, here with green for fast monopole, blue for neutrino, and atmospheric muons in red compared to what we get in data. So we with uh, optimized parameters, one can, as you can see here, uh, one can is isolate uh, monopoles uh, from atmospheric muons and neutrinos. We need to optimize a cut on the brightness of, in the event, which is uh, represented here in function of the quality of reconstruction of the of the of, of monopoles. This is work uh, quite fine for uh, fast monopole. For slow monopole, we have an extra cut on the velocity, which is reconstructed and should be for slow monopole different uh, uh, from the speed of light uh, for millions uh, uh, and neutrinos. So uh, we have uh, presented in the last uh, Neutrino 2020 uh, meeting a new update for uh, the sensitivity uh, for magnetic monopoles. You can see uh, what we get with uh, about uh, with data uh, uh, up to 2000, uh, 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 the equivalent of 2480 days of data taking here in red. It's you can see that exploring the optical property of water, we are uh, uh, providing a better and competitive uh, uh, upper limits on uh, uh, magnetic monopoles uh, sensitivity. Uh, I should mention that we have uh, also using uh, about one, the equivalent on 1,012 days data. We have published also a result here in red, uh, which was at that time competitive for, of the limits from ice cube uh, at uh, uh, at high uh, velocity and uh, fast monopoles. So, a second analysis is uh, performed in collaboration with nice guys. Uh, put the PhD student in uh, univ at the University of Ujda, supervised by my colleague Musa Ila. I remind you that uh, nuclei it was being uh, in in, in uh, 1980, it's stable part quark matter, good candidate also for quark dark matter. Also on two values, uh, we have on the right the brightness, like for the brightness of the event. Uh, uh, represented uh, for uh, nuclear with different energy uh, in red, uh, magenta, uh, uh, and green. Uh, for ten, you mass for 10 to 14 GeV up to 10 to 16 GeV. We have more light compared to what we get from atmospheric millions in blue and uh, black solid line correspond to me uh, the measured data. Uh. We, uh, this is the first variable. And the second one is profit from the fact that nuclearite uh, transit uh, the telescope in quite long duration. It takes like uh, about 200 milliseconds for uh, nuclearite to transit in the telescope compared to a uh, blue line here for uh, the transit time for millions is about two microsecond. So we have these two key variables for this analysis. Uh, one can see that by optimizing uh, a cut on the brightness and the, uh, the time of transit of nuclearite in the, the telescope, one can perfectly isolate mono, uh, nuclearite uh, from, from uh, atmospheric muon represented here in, in blue. Huh? 
this optimization has been done following uh, the Feldman Cousin approach, and we have provided uh, uh, new sensitivity. You can see we, uh, here in red, which has been presented uh, in the last conference, Neutrino 2020. And you can see we push forward the limit compared here to what we get, for example, from macro, uh, macro experiment. Uh, before to conclude, uh, I think I have uh, two, mi two minutes to present some hardware activity. Uh, Morocco has joined recently the kaim 3 net uh, collaboration, which aim to build new generation of neutrino telescopes, similar to Antares, but at big scale, uh, we are talking about a kilometer uh, network uh, telescope. In fact, we have two sites, one close to Orca, one close to France, and the other one to Italy. Uh, uh, ORCA is dedicated to low energy activity, while ARCA will, will uh, deal with high energy neutrinos. So quite promising physics. Uh, this is the program and what is expected from kaim net At low energy, we will study the neutrino oscillation, the problem of hierarchy, and so on. And ARCA will... Uh, will uh, study the, the source of cosmic rays and, uh, and so on. We have some exotic uh, activity in medium energy. Okay, so we have convinced the collaboration uh, to build, uh, uh, to set up a dome si an integration site, which will be uh, dedicated to uh, the production of digital optical module for this telescope. It's really, uh, here you can see uh, the, the lab uh, is now well furnished uh, and uh, you can see on the bottom uh, left, uh, the, uh, our test bench completely set up with uh, our PhD student. So this project will bring uh, some high level uh, training for our students and will uh, give uh, more visibility to Morocco. And it's kind of, uh, trans uh, it work trans uh, technology transfer to, to, to our, uh, our country. Uh, another site will be, uh, has been approved by the collaboration and will be installed to in University of Wujda. It will be dedicated to the integration of base module you can look at base motor like uh, a router, which will collect uh, uh, optical signal from four lines uh, of the detection. Very nice activity. Again, will ensure the, a good training, high level training for PhD students and uh, knowledge transfer to, to, to our country. Uh, on HEP side, after a long discussion with the management board of Atlas, Discussion initiated by my colleague Rashid Mazini from Academica Sinica, myself. We convened uh, the collaboration to approve a project which will involve in elegant way uh, the participation of Morocco to the upgrade. So uh, since a couple of weeks, uh, Morocco uh, represented by Masir, its technological foundation we have in Rabat has joined the Atlas Co collaboration as associate institute and we will participate to the constructions and the assembly of the high granularity time in detector. Uh, this is one of the major upgrade of Atlas since they want to uh, build the 4D detector providing information on position and also on, on timing. The, it's explore the, you know, this LGAD low gain avalanche detection technique and the, uh, the goals is to reach a resolution of about 30 picosecond uh, in time. Okay, uh, this uh, technological about and 60%, which is extremely important, 60% of this high granularity time in detection will be produced in Morocco since Morocco has been chosen as sixth site for this uh, for the uh, assembly of uh, this uh, nice and, and challenging uh, device. Okay, 
So I reached my conclusion to say that we are active in, uh, in both high energy physics and astroparticles. For high energy physics, I didn't have time. I, I just presented our activity, our activities in, in, with the heavy ions uh, groups. We, we, we have observed, we participated to the observation of light by light scattering. So uh, the LHC work perfectly as a collider of photons. And uh, we, we are also very active on the astroparticle side uh, with Antares collaboration and the search for exotic particles like magnetic monopoles and nuclearite. And we have initiated uh, some hardware project in Morocco, which will uh, give more visibility to our country. And uh, we, we, we will ensure, of course, uh, high level training of our youth. Uh, and I hope uh, via Morocco also we can uh, share this expertise with other African countries. Thanks a lot. Uh, thank you very much for um, for such a comprehensive talk here, here uh, and for sticking to time. Do we have any quick questions from the audience? I don't see any questions in the text, but maybe somebody, uh, maybe. Okay, Hassan, please go ahead. Ali. Uh, uh, so thank you. Thank you, Yahya. Uh, so, uh, you know, I'm not a high energy physicist, so I, um, but I, I just wanted to ask you, uh, do you have any, uh, do you already have some contacts with the uh, people at ICTP? Yes, uh, we are uh, in contact with uh, Bobby Akaria, for example. Oh, Bobby Akaria, okay. And uh, yeah, and I, I should mention that uh, ICTP support also uh, some of our students, yes. I, I am the director of a group it's a kind of affiliated center to the ICTP, yes. Okay, okay, that's, no, no, so I just want I guess, yeah, so, so one, of, uh, one of the reasons why it was very nice for you to be here is also for the other people in the African community to see what's, what's going on and, and to try to build some, some networks and collaborations. So, uh, so yeah, thank you. Very good. Um, another question, when is uh, Antares expected to start taking data? Antares was running since 2008. Uh, it's still, it started in 2008 and still running. Uh. So okay. what I presented, it was, I think you mean KM3 net. Uh. Uh, I guess. The yes. new generation yes. of telescope. Yeah, for KM3 net, we, we managed uh, to deploy a few lines. We have six lines in the orchard. We started to taking data. Okay. But the goal is uh, to have a complete uh, detection unit about uh, which is 115 lines for ORCA, for example. And for ARCA, we will have two detection units each with 115 uh, lines. Okay. Okay, very good. Um, I don't see any more questions from the audience. So just one, one quick question. We have a uh, question. Okay, I'm going yeah. So thank you for your thoughts. Um, yeah. So my question is about the magnetic monopoles. What's the prospects for detection of magnetic monopoles? And then what will this mean for charge quantization? I mean, as I showed, uh, what we have, uh, we didn't find um, the magnetic monopole. You can see here, we just, uh, this is our last real result you see in green. We have just set an upper limit on the magnetic monopole flux, yes. Okay, so we're almost certain it doesn't exist. Yeah, I could not say that. Maybe <laughs> the flux is less than this experimental limit. Okay. Okay, so I guess we can stop here. Thank you very I much. Also, uh, I have also a question, please. Um, I'll, I'll leave it to Hassan. Should we stop here? I think, I think you can go ahead and ask. It's fine. Okay, that will be the last question of the session. Okay, thanks. Okay, okay. Uh, please, is there any way to get the light by light scattering uh, theoretically regarding the Feynman diagram?
I didn't get exactly what you mean. Like, uh, what's, what's the? If there is another possibility to to get the like by live scattering, another way. Uh, up to now, uh, yeah, regarding to, the Feynman diagram. Yeah, up to now, uh, you can see here the crowd section is very weak due to the car fort. There were many devices based on laser and so on. And it's uh, right. I mean, uh, for the moment, uh, the only way is with colliding heavy ions. Okay, thank you so much. Because in, so go much. in order to enhance these cross sections. Okay, so thank you so much. So when, uh, how long do you expect we will observe those magnetic uh, monopoles? Perhaps it could solve the problem of uh, losing masses of universe. It's it's like the, uh, the question before. Um, I I think I cannot answer. Uh, it depends, you know. <laughs> okay, I, I think uh, so what we are doing in Antares, uh, and uh, I think with the huge telescope like im 3 net we will have more sensitivity and we can uh, definitively decide on the existence of monopole form. But right now, with small Antares telescope, it's almost impossible. Hassan Ali, uh, just allow me to, to, to add one thing. We, sure. we are in discussion with Senegal, mm -hmm. a discussion with Senegal in order to join Antares, Catrinet, and Atlas. We have also, uh, we made contact with the uh, WITS University and uh, we concretized an addition of WITS to, uh, to Catrinet. Uh, and we are willing to discuss with any other country and help them in order to be involved in this uh, international efforts. I will be very happy if, uh, if we can help at that level. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, okay, so I think uh, we have to close this session to an end. It's been a very busy day. Uh, thank you, Shoaib and Marcello uh, for chairing this last session. Uh, thank you to all the speakers. And thank you all. We'll see you tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. for the poster session, of course, virtually. So have a very good evening and thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thank you.